It's time now to talk about the Yang Wang U9 and its extreme driving performance. First of all, Yang Wang is the luxury brand of BYD and the name means look up. The name is not ideal since many Chinese customers consider this to be arrogant and they prefer names like Xiaomi or Xiaopong where Xiao means small. Anyway, Yang Wang designed their E4 platform which goes back to the original idea of electric cars of having a large battery in the middle and one electric motor for each wheel. In case of the E4 platform, these are not wheel hub motors, but two electric motors in one housing with a fixed gear ratio. One of this unit is at the front and one at the rear. Yang Wang is already using this concept for their U8 SUV, which for example can perform a tank turn. The U9 is a sports car to display what Yang Wang's technology is capable of. And like often with ambitious Chinese projects, they don't just stay a concept, they become reality pretty quickly. Check out my video about China's high-speed train service to learn more about that. So the Yang Wang U9 was announced in January 2023 and presented a year later. Production started in April 24. So they created a sports car to showcase basically two main systems. Their E4 drivetrain and their Dysus X intelligent body control system, so their active suspension. They designed, as they claim, the world's largest monocoque with a weight of 110 kg. It's a hybrid design with integrated aluminium castings. The torsional stiffness is pretty high with 54,425 Nm per degree and necessary to get the full advantages of the active suspension. The look follows the standard BYD design by Wolfgang Egger, former Audi, Alfa Romeo and Seat designer who joined the Chinese manufacturer in 2016. The U9 came out with an 800 volt system, 80 kilowatt hour LFP battery, 1300 horsepower, a top speed of 309 km per hour and it drove the Nürburgring Nordschleife in 7 minutes 17.9 seconds. The battery is split into two and can be charged with 500 kilowatt and two plugs. So although the U9 has a carbon fiber monocoque because of its heavy drivetrain and other actuators, it has a pretty high weight of 2500 kg. The range according to the Chinese CLTC cycle is 450 km. Since this cycle is mostly simulating Chinese city traffic, the WLTP range is around 20% less. So although the U9 has a good battery size, the range is not a lot, because the consumption of its four electric motors and other systems is relatively high. But that wasn't the focus. The focus was on power and speed. And while the road version was announced with 309 km per hour top speed, rumors came up that the U9 already reached speeds of up to 390 km per hour while testing. To show what their E4 platform really can do, they built the U9 Extreme. They got approval from the Chinese traffic authorities and will only produce 30 of the track version for a much higher price. So technically it is a serious production car. Now for the Extreme they increased voltage to 1200, which makes this the world's first serious production car with 1200 volt. Higher voltage helps them to transmit a lot more power, while potentially saving weight because of smaller cables, but maybe not here because of the high power. And the high voltage reduces heat generation by 67%. With that, they can now work with up to 1000 ampere like an electric train and each electric motor now delivers 555 kilowatt, which means 3019 horsepower altogether, which also makes it the strongest serious production car in the world. How can we reach that? By increasing voltage and RPM at the same time. The U9 has the fastest spinning electric motors in any electric car, with the world's thinnest silicon steel and aerospace grade aluminium housings. They allow up to 700 kW recuperation with all four motors to unload the mechanical brakes and the advantage of having an individual motor at each wheel is that you can control each torque on each wheel individually. That means you can react individually to road surface changes and by applying different torque you can steer the car without having to use the steering. So with a clever control system in the background, which works with 100 Hz, so it adjusts torque 100 times per second, 
you can provide a super stable and safe driving behavior even at high speeds. So there is more than enough power. The next point is the active suspension. To bring this power on the road, they designed the U9 with the Dysus X Intelligent Body Control System, which combines active damping with a powerful hydraulic system. It can adjust suspension height of up to 75 mm and with a speed of 500 mm per second, providing an instantaneous lifting force of over 1 ton, which means the car can jump. And that's only possible because the active suspension runs with 1200 volt instead of 48 volt like in other cars, so it is a lot more powerful. On one hand, that's a nice party trick, but on the other hand, it provides additional stability and it controls pitch and roll. The next intensive development work went into the tires. The normal U9 has 21 inch wheels with 275 mm tires at the front and 325s at the back. For the track edition, BYD developed one tire together with the Singapore tire manufacturer Gitti Tires, the Gitti Sport EGTR2 Pro. They combine a soft semi-slick-like compound, a vortex drainage channel system and a reinforced structure for speeds of more than 500 km per hour. Because of that, they only develop one tire size, so the U9 Track Edition has smaller 20-inch rims for a bigger rubber sidewall and the same 325mm tires at front and rear. By the way, the rims have a special profile as well to provide more stability for the tire so it can transmit the massive power. To be able to cool such a powerful system, they installed oil pumps with higher efficiency and for more volume flow. They use larger carbon ceramic brakes and upgraded the aerodynamics, although it's hard to spot a difference. They claim to have a newly shaped front splitter and active elements in the diffuser. Now, with all that, they set out to break records. First, they went to the Nordschleife again and drove a sub-7 lap time, which made the U9 the fastest serious production electric car there. Then, they took the wing off and aimed for the top speed record. If they would have done these record runs in China with a Chinese driver, people in other countries would have doubted the result. But Yang Wang went to the Mercedes high-speed track in Papenburg in North Germany, and the driver was Mike Basseng, a very experienced German GT3 and known Nordschleife driver. After reaching 472 km per hour in the first attempt, they pushed it to 496.22 km per hour four weeks later, which made the U9 the fastest serious production car on the planet. So, although the Yangwang U9 does not look that extreme, it's an extreme car to showcase what's possible with an electric drivetrain. And the experiences from this project will help other BYD models. Instead of going to Michelin like many other supercar manufacturers, BYD built up their own supplier from Singapore, which has its advantages. And to show the world what the car really can do, they don't drive records somewhere in China, they go to Europe and do it in front of their competitor's doorstep. So how do you like the Yangwang U9 project? And what do you think? What does it mean for the future of supercars? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.